Okay, well, we had to hurry along there. Had problems with our plaster drying too quickly and the uh, clay drying out. That we had to hurry up before we had the camera on. But what we've done is we created a box that the thing can be sat in without touching the bottom so that way, or the edges too much. The dam I built around the edge helps hold it away. From, so you want to create still an, at least an inch if not more of edge to your plaster in the mask barrier so it less chance is getting it damaged or fall apart. So to hurry with that, we got it in there. Actually we suddenly have had to run off to go get more plaster. And then we'll be doing also the props, which you can see right there. I gotta fill this up to about this level. Same with the one you can see back here. And uh, we'll let those dry for 24 hours. Okay, here we go. Filled it with the plaster. A little messier than I would have liked because we had to, you know, go back and pick up more plaster and fill it in. Hopefully that shouldn't cause a fraction between, or, you know, a space between the layers. A lot of times they can have problems. So make sure if you have all the plaster you need when you're doing this usually, but we're not gonna throw it out or anything. We're gonna see if we can save it. Luckily, because it is gonna be uh, applied fur to the surface little f problems which is wherever this might form is like little cracks wouldn't be it won't be a parable in the end now I'll show you the prop ones which is the ear it's underneath that and then there's the horn which so here's the ear there's the horn basically when I'm done I'll be making two of these a piece to be putting on that but I only since they're just an ear and a horn I don't need to make two sets of uh, molds for those. So there we go. And we'll see how the next step goes. So we've got the uh, mold from the uh, antler. Just testing it out, I was checking it and it came right up off the table with no effort. So a little bit of digging though and I pulled out all the clay. And there's the mold for that. And uh, contemplating trying this one. I'm taping the edges here on this just to go ahead and give it a little extra strength. This one's a little thinner than the last one, so I was a little nervous. We're running out of plaster. So let's see if it's going to release. It's a little bit of movement. I don't want to force it too much if it's not ready. Because actually what may be staying is the clay may be made and the mold's coming up. <laughs> exactly. The clay stuck to the table and the mold released. Actually quite well. We did well on this. A little bit of cleanup on the edges there. Uh. 
<clears throat> Save what you can of the clay. You may need it for nothing else, but it's too bad. You can use it for damming on the edges, like I showed before. Don't worry, I just cut it off for when everyone was talking off and on. Oh. I gotta recharge it. I can find something to recharge it with. That battery is like old. Get a good look there. Try to back it out a little bit. And there we go. That'll be the mold for the ear. Fill that in. I'll have to clean up the edges here. You always gotta clean up a little bit. But we should be good on those. Now I'm tempted about the last one. The beast.